an update on the whole um Dachavelli situation which probably shouldn't be updating any i don't i don't know why the family keeps talking about this stuff um maybe because quite clearly behind the scenes there are things happening that are probably going to affect Dutch's ability to make music or maybe they're just worried about what the reception will be like once he does come out um and face the music but let's see where the clip is this is from uk gossip um yeah so this is from uk gossip they posted about it earlier today and it says the following uh, new dms claiming dutch of innocence have been revealed so this is a screenshot here taken from some girl called angela cartier's account i think that might be the girl involved right the underage girl so let's just tread lightly but i think this might be it so it says the following when dutch got hacked i did too they deleted all my messages i saw people messaging me telling me to provide the original messages but i couldn't as they were all gone when i went through our chat but i just went into my story archives and found some of the original stories dutch was replying to Dutch name needs to be cleared as all these lies being told on him are disgusting. My family and I are doing going through hell all because of these lies. This whole situation is unfair and painful. Swipe for more swipe for some of the original messages. Please stop with all the lies. And she says, um, in a caption, Dutch is like family to us. There are a lot of fake messages going through, going around, but this is facts. Clout is killing my people. It's never good to speak on a matter you know nothing about. If it wasn't for my archives, you guys would still be accusing Dutch, and it's sickening. So they're coming, they're coming at it hard, right? They're coming out swinging, um, trying to clear his name. And again, that might mean that behind the scenes there is a kind of worry and um, a suspicion that most likely the fan base won't forget this and it will somehow negatively impact his ability to um continue being the star that he was kind of on the way to being at the you know prior to these allegations coming to light so which is kind of which is kind of bad because it, it looks like it's just more of a case of making sure they protect the money as opposed to clearing his name of actually being a bit of a nonce i don't know but anyway let's see the evidence so this is obviously um a post that looks like Dutch was maybe replying to an image of a young girl looks like a toddler of some sort related to the family and him posting heart eye emojis might have been due to that and not something else so I guess the argument they're basically trying to um the argument they're providing is that whoever hacked Dutch Valley's account went into his dms saw he was messaging this underage girl and then purposely deleted the messages to make it look like Dutch was saying something that he wasn't saying screenshotted them and then shared them out there or the other thing they're saying is that somebody that hacked into the account took the account details screenshotted all the illicit stuff or maybe shared login with somebody else and then that person edited all the images in photoshop or something and made it look a certain way i don't know do you believe that <sighs> Does it matter though? I guess it does because if we don't believe that, if we don't move on from this and accept that he's not a nonce, then he's not going to have the career that he wants to have in it. That's probably the worry. Um, and I guess they're more worried now that his actual fans won't believe him because I think if I, I think I said it previously, right? When I saw, when I read his, or when I listened to his posts on his own page, it did seem like his own fan base were pretty on side, but. That might have been because he was just deleting comments. Maybe his management put in key because I'm a fan Instagram. If you've got a verified account, you can do that thing where you can have like an uh, auto automatic comments can get hit, comments can get hidden automatically if they mention certain keywords. So you can maybe make sure you know, if someone says nonce or pedo, you can eventually just uh, you know highlight those words if they say them. The comment doesn't come up at all. So maybe I just got like a very edited version of his comment replies. But because for the most part, most of the comments on his page were positives, and the ones on the blog sites were all negative or a mixed bag, depending. So next screenshot here, you got an image of Meg the Stallion, um, and then um. I don't know. What does this prove? That the girl uploaded the picture of Megan Stallion and then Dasha Billy uh, put heart uh, heart emojis. I don't know. Another image of it looks like it might be the young girl driving. Is she? Is she in a, is that, no, that's somebody else. Don't know who that is driving in a car, left hand drive with a gun in her lap. Regardless, it says my babes. Um, and then the image that everyone was trying to basically say that was really incriminating was the image of the girl uploading a picture of. Um, something rose i forgot anyway these two american people and um the guy behind him the guy the guy behind the girl has obviously got his hand around the girl's waist and they're in an intimate image blah, blah, blah. and it was like oh why would you be sending that to an underage girl and what they're alleging is that she was actually sharing that image to dutch 
and mostly focusing on the girl's hand gestures, which might have been something attributing to whatever gang that Chavelli is, you know, near or whatever. I don't know. That's basically what they're trying to say. So the original message says, um, him Dutch saying to her, what are you trying to tell me? And then she says, just her hand gestures. And then on the up and the fake image, it says it just got um, hmm. on the same picture. It hasn't got her reply. It's just got him saying, babes, don't worry. We're going to make that pick soon. I don't know. Again, I don't know, man. The story has changed so many times in this issue that it's starting to feel like it's all a bit of a lie, isn't it? Like, I don't know what the lie is or where it stops, where it ends. Because there is there is a possibility, right, that the story got way out of hand and then by the time they could correct it, people were talking who shouldn't be speaking at the time. Because I felt like at the time, the mum, and we felt that it was a mum, innit? When she came out and she was basically alluded to the fact that she was the one that was talking to Dutch through her daughter's Instagrams, Instagram DMs, that basically didn't sound right either. Then when the sister come out, uh, sorry, when Dutch Philly's sister, other sister came out, not Steph, not Steph, somebody else, that also didn't help things. So maybe it was a legitimate error in how they responded to it. Like, because the family were panicking, everyone was trying to go and save face for him. Then, of course, he didn't help the situation by just not talking about it again and kind of threatening people via Instagram stories. Remember, he did that video outside the, of the airport, if I like, or something, where he was basically, you know, threatening people and whatever. Um, then obviously he went to Dubai and did his thing there. That obviously didn't look good for some people's eyes because if you've got such a serious issue hanging over your head, the last thing she was thinking about is mimosas on the beach or something. Um, and then by the time everyone kind of settled down and wanted to address it in a serious manner, there was already the incriminating stuff with the Dutch's sister in Steph, who was looked like she was trying to gaslight the the guy that was a relative of the underage girl. It just didn't come across good, right? Now that could be because they're just un they're just inexperienced with dealing with controversy, controversy for the most part. Because it feels like Steph's been pretty uh, problematic, unproblematic, right? I don't really think she's got into anything questionable online. I don't know. Maybe I don't really follow that closely. And Dutch too, for the most part, apart from maybe some beef with actual rappers, he's been pretty okay in terms of how he's been dealt with online. So maybe that lack of experience and the severity of allegations just made them a bit frazzled and they didn't have to reply to it properly. But again, I'm shooting them way too much bail. This just seems fishy. Like you wouldn't go to this extent um, and keep on trying to rewrite the narrative if you weren't worried that you might have committed the crime that you were accused of. I don't know. But then again, there's so much on the line in it. If you're Dutch's family and stuff, you're going to try your best to make sure this gets cleared because there's a lot at stake really. You can't really, I don't know. Continues here. Another one says image of her saying, I was just tanning. It's hotter today, though. I will go in today. Mum's tanning, but she's burnt already. She's, there's food, but hurry up for if, or I'm having it. It says, your uncle told me, uh, and jams to pull up. I'm coming. Laugh, laugh, laugh. What should I come? Don't mind. Up to you. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, man. I just don't know. Even if I had a cousin. That was a girl when she was 14. I wouldn't be talking to her via Instagram DMs. I just wouldn't. I might call her to double check or if we're that close, but still, it's just weird still. And why would she want to talk to me? I get it. I guess I get it's different because he's Dutch, right? He's a celebrity. So she probably looks at him differently um, because of that. That's normal. I can understand that. But as the adult, should you be even communicating with her? And it's like, I just don't know if you should. I don't know, man. Like, I, number one, I wouldn't want my my 14 year old cousin to even see what i'm getting up to on instagram stories anyway to begin with right i'd want to kind of keep that separate and then to be communicating with them on a ha ha he he thing on dms is a bit dodgy isn't it maybe it's just me i don't know man maybe it's just me maybe because i just don't have any interest in talking to teenagers either like just even they are family like come on it continues here lol you've been had um that was the day she says why did i know you was gonna say this and i know i have you hey uh, have you a lit nigga he says i was speaking to your mom for you lot to come to mine yeah she says so come spend the night then she says yeah we are still ill i will when my best corners when my best comes back and my test comes back okay cool it says sweat emoji it says are you coming or not it says coming where to my house it says i don't know his uncle there yeah Fox said he will put you lot in a cab. Okay, I guess. 
Okay, where are you? I'm at Dutch. I'm at home, Dutch. Send you a postcard. I tried to call your mum. She's not answering. I don't know, man. I don't know. Who knows? This could be true. This could be the actual um, series of events that led to Dutch talking to his young teenage cousin uh, via Instagram DMs, but I still think that's weird. They still haven't addressed that part of the story. Um, I know maybe the narrative has sort of changed and maybe some... Because I just can't imagine a hacker would go to that length to try and make him look that bad. But again, who knows? Maybe we're kind of uh, not kind of accounting for the trolley nature of a hacker that might want to upset the apple cart somewhat, especially if they're not fans of Dutch's artistry or they're not, you know, they're from the ops ends or whatever. I don't know. But it just seems weird, isn't it? It seems a little bit too convoluted. I mean, it could be the case. Who knows? I just think now we just have to let the people decide, isn't it? I think. You can only fight your corner to some extent. You're never going to convince everybody. I think people that weren't fans of Dutch anyway are never going to be convinced that he's not a nonce. And if you are a fan of it, you're just going to have to kind of battle in your head whether or not you can separate the artist from the art. And if you can, cool, be his fan. If you cannot, you just have to move on and go to somebody else. But I guess, again, like I said in the previous video, if the family are okay with it, we have to be okay with it as well. We just have to kind of move on. We just can't keep beating a dead horse, even though I am quintessentially beating a dead horse but hey we're here <laughs>